All right, I got 12 minutes to do this video, so let's do this. Uh, we're gonna do an Unchained deck profile, and then I also got this sick-ass package in the mail. So we're gonna open this up as well, just to make sure it contains what it's supposed to contain. But I'm getting ready to go to a music festival in Texas tomorrow, so this might be the last time you see me alive. So I figured I'd get this done out of the way. This is from Dimitri. Uh, thanks, buddy, for sending this on my way. Word. Cool. Well, so... Fuck yeah. Well, in case any of you guys haven't been able to notice, like... Injection Fairly is my favorite card. Wow. Well done, Amanda LaPalm. That turned out wonderfully. And then... Conveniently enough, the guy that I got this from... Also... Oh, wow. What the fuck that is? Just like her... Pyramid. Oh, so this is the Matt Company. That's dope. You said this has never been played on. But these are a limited run. Damn, son. Damn, son. I'm pretty happy. That's... <laughs> oh, that's sick. I've always wanted an injection for a lily mat. Oh, Christ. That's so clean. I mean, obviously it's on both sides. Wow. Alright. Gotta sit here and stop going over this map, but god damn it. Damn. I'm happy. Alright, let's get into this fucking profile, because otherwise we're never gonna get anywhere here. But, shout out to Dimitri for sending this on over my way. And I'm retarded, because I thought I didn't order one of these field centers, and I actually did. So, I have two of these coming now, so go me. But, haha. -ha. Damn, this is so sick. I don't even like want to do this profile anymore. I just kind of want to like play test. But cool, 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 cool. All right, so here's Unchained. This is my updated list. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go through it relatively uh, casually. There's a little bit of spice in here, but uh, it's kind of an updated list from what I had initially put out. Uh, still some relatively standard shit though. So obviously gonna be playing three. Uh, Aruha 3, uh, I'm sorry, Rikea, and 3, Sarama still, I don't really foresee that changing any of the ratios, so it's out there. Um, 2, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, oh shit, uh, 2 of the soul, and then 1 disaster, disaster I think should be bumped up to 2, so for the sake of this video, if you find room for a second disaster, I think it should be at 2, there's so many instances in grind games where he's in graveyard, and I just, like, having the second one would be phenomenal. Now, for what it's worth, opening him in your opening hand is just, like, horrible, I guess. Like, so you do run the risk of that happening more. But I, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of in a finicky situation with him right now where one works, but I feel like two might be more appropriate. Um, and then still running two soul just because soul is crazy. Uh... As far as hand traps go, we were running at one banishment. This could, I guess, be the other uh, disaster uh, very easily. This is more just attack than anything, but he does, like, like I don't know, in simplified games, this card's just wonky, and it's such a catch your opponent off guard thing, but uh, yes, in front of playtesting, maybe this might be the swap out. I'm not sure, but I still really do enjoy this card. Uh, we are playing three Ash still, um, and three Dimension Shifter. I am loving this card in this deck. It blows out so many... Uh, it's, it's just kind of like a pass, if you will. Uh, obviously, drawing it late game sucks, uh, but you typically just need it for your first or second turn in order to blow your opponent out. Uh, most decks don't know how to play around it. Obviously, some decks it's not going to have much effect on, so you just side that shit out. But, uh, yeah, that runs, runs up the monsters. I think that puts us at, what's that, 12, 6, 7, so 19 monsters. Cool. Uh, for the spells, we are still doing three... Uh, ah, Jesus Christ. Prison. Uh, two triple tactic talent still. I'm not playing uh, Prosperity or Extravagance. I like having my extra deck intact. Obviously, um, we are playing 
super poly as well. So if you want to switch this out for extravagance, those still coincide with one another. You can use super poly before the draw phase, so you can drop this going second in your standby phase, resolve it, and then still activate extravagance. Uh, so you still have your super poly targets accessible. But uh, yeah, only seven spells. Uh, for the traps, we are still running three chamber and three escape. Uh, still relatively bread and butter, bread and butter of the deck in order to get your plays rolling. A uh, little bit of spice that I've started playing uh, is magical hats. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it pop up in a couple of my replays. This is just more of a fun card, but it actually generates like insane advantage. Obviously, it requires a little bit of setup. Your opponent has to. Um, attack, or it just has to be, I'm sorry, it doesn't have to be an attack, but it just has to be in their battle, I'm sorry, your battle phase, their battle phase of your opponent attacking you, and um, you have to control the monster, I'm sorry, um, but it allows you to set either prison, uh, chamber, Jesus, I'm sorry, or escape uh, from your deck, and then uh, they're treated as monsters, but then when they're set, so they resolve their effects when they're destroyed, um, so obviously it takes you from one to three potential monsters and these float into whatever you need. So it's just a huge like swing and I don't think I've lost a game that I've resolved this in. So am I saying it's like amazing? Meh. Yeah. Fucking figure it out for yourself. But I like it. It's a super old school card too and no one expects it. Like it's literally the Spanish Inquisition of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like no one sees it coming. Um, and then two torrential, two storm duster, and then skill drain. I took out a trap trick. Uh, you could I guess squeeze that back in, but this is just kind of where I'm at right now with it. I did bump Magical Hats up to three. It was initially at two. And then, obviously, with the Trap Trick to give you options for all these, but I just decided to side it out because I want to play three Magical Hats. So that's the main deck. That's seven minutes right now. So 40 card main. Uh, like I said, nothing too crazy, but obviously just playing like a little bit of spice. It is a going first control variant. Uh, I'll the, yeah, we'll do the extra deck. Uh, one Share Beanie. This is still Send the Banishment. Uh, oh god, don't look at these mismatch rarities, I still need one more secret first dead. Um, but we did bump Rage up to 3, just because I felt like it was kind of more crucial for the grind game, and I was only initially playing 2, but I feel like the third will come up in handy, or will come up at some point to justify it. Uh, Unicorn, uh, 2 English. Um, I'm still pretty confident that 2 English is fine, I haven't really needed the third one, and then I still think Unicorn's not bad for just setting up for a one turn swing. Uh, Trisbania still blow up card against back row decks, obviously it's situational, but I think having the option is fine, considering that you only use Rage and Anguish, and sometimes, like, Abomination, like, you guys definitely have, like, a free, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, you guys definitely have some, like, options, like, for how you want to tutor or cater your extra deck, like, I'm playing this one because I don't have any, uh, draw cards that banish anything from my extra deck, so I kind of have the options to play as much as I want in terms of, uh, outs and different like attacks. Uh, Soldier Chaos, this card, uh, just just recently tried it, or put it in, but can, like against like Eldritch Prank Kids, there's certain matchups that, uh, like Prank Kids is a fucking horrible matchup for this deck, like in, uh, obviously if you've seen enough of my videos, it just, that deck just grinds like crazy, it's a pain in the ass. So this is just kind of a, a tech that I'm trying to at least like work my way around, uh, being able to like combat that deck effectively. One access code, obviously, if you have two, I see builds point two, but one is typically it's your game puncher. And then Abomination. Uh, one degree, so still, uh, still an out to uh, Dragoon. You just slap two level eights together. Uh, it doesn't really come up that much, but, you know, again, tech choices. And then Super Poly targets, Mud Dragon, Dragostapelia, and uh, Venom Fusion uh, Dragon. Mainly just being able to out whatever dark, uh, like, obviously this is for, like, uh, Verte, and Dragoons, but uh, if your opponent just is playing like, uh, you know, like D-Link, anything with Dragoons in it, I mean, like your Sarama's a dark, so is your uh, Unchained Soul, um, so you have ways of accessing darks onto your own side of the field for super poly targets, um, but obviously being able to use your opponent's field as much as possible is most crucial. Um, this came up uh, once, I shouldn't say once, but it's come up uh, in online playtesting, um, an opponent make a uh, the Samorg Link under Apollosa as well, which are both wins. So, I mean, there's definitely applications for Mud Dragon as well. Obviously, if you have more better uh, alternatives to Super Volley targets, let me know. Uh, the all ears. Uh, the side deck, real quick. Uh, 3DD Crow. So, this is specifically for 
uh, prank kids uh, like to hit that prank the trap card plan. Um, obviously, this goes against like a lot of other matchups as well. Like you're, you can hit invocation or what have you. So I mean, definitely all sorts of uh, alternative targets. But I am going to be trying out 3D Crow. Um, Lancia, this card uh, is still I think pretty uh, bombless format. Obviously, depending on like what the hand trap. But, uh, man, this could be Nibiru as well for what it's worth. Like I'm really not. Side decking so hard, yo, but I think Lancia is still like very dominant. Uh, we are playing one Scythe, and uh, the two Sanctum still has a like, blowout going first package. Obviously, with Trap Trick out, you are running a smaller potential of seeing it, but uh, still a complete blowout card uh, against certain matchups, so um, I like Lancia. Uh, and then we are doing two Storm and uh, Feather Duster. Obviously, you could do three Storm if you want to, but that's just the ratio that I've got right now uh, for going second. And then also uh, three Dark Ruler no more. And this is obviously just kind of like your uh, board breaking package, if you will. Uh, just making sure that whatever your opponent's got is not getting in your way. Especially with like the new synchro shit. Those boards are just going to be so sick uh, that people are setting up turn one. So uh, D Link is still kind of like a dominant threat. So turn one boards, bullshit. You gotta be able to break through it. Um, that is pretty much it for, for the deck. Like I said, nothing too crazy, but uh, just kind of an updated version or look at what I'm playing right now. Uh, I'll be back next week, so I'll have some more matches recorded, hopefully, show you guys some spice, but yeah. <sighs> so excited to try out this new map. But anyways, guys, uh, like I said, 40 card main deck, everything else, like I said, is pretty up to date. Uh, pretty, it runs really smooth. I would definitely try a disaster out it too. Um, try out Dimension Shifter if you haven't played around it in the deck, because all of your cards still resolve with it. Magical Hat's as spicy as shit, no one sees it coming, so... Uh, yeah, that's that's the deck. I thoroughly appreciate you guys watching it, and enjoy your weekend. Stay safe.